That's it. They're all coming. Uh, I'm sorry, he's just excited because he's having a reunion with his college jazz band. All four jazz tones will be together again after 25 years. Apparently, he's still excited. <laughs> Dick, will this reunion be a bunch of grown men carrying on like college kids? If we're lucky. <laughs> you know, some of the wildest times I've ever had in my life were with the jazz tones. I mean, one, one time, Sheik and I. Sheik? Yeah, he, he was a real, real lady killer. You know, when, when he played his sax and, and did his pelvic thrust, well... <laughs> honey, just, just remember that you're married, okay? <laughs> anyway, one time, Sheik and I took Hog... Oh, hold and, it. Someone actually let you call him Hog? Well, what else are you going to call a guy who, on a bet, scarfed down five pizzas, a rack of ribs, two dozen donuts, and a bicycle seat? <laughs> what did Sheik and Hog call you? Slats. <laughs> Must be a zany story behind that. Well, I, I always wanted a nickname, and uh, we, you know, we just made that one up. <laughs> but I mean, if if you want to talk crazy, our, our piano player was the undisputed king of the looms. I mean, he he was a natural leader of men. He he could get a a food fight started at the Vatican. <laughs> I almost don't want to know what you called him. Phil. <laughs> Well, he, he was beyond nicknames. Wait till you see his entrance. Uh, he may come in, swing on a rope. He may come down the chimney. You may find him buck naked in our shower. <laughs> Dick, are you still closing the inn next weekend because your annoying friends from college are coming? Uh, yeah. Then I'm going to go to Boston to get away from them. No, you're not. You'll still have to wait on Dick's friends. Oh, poo. Hi, all. With an extra kiss-kiss to one in particular. Please let it be me. I was referring to my wonder wench. Say that, Michael. We can't go to Boston. I'm about as depressed as I get. Would a fancy lunch and an afternoon of compliments cheer you up? Yes. <laughs> Boy, do we know how to cope with crises? As long as we're together, you'll never catch us throwing away money on analysis. Yeah, you're the mental health poster, kids. <laughs> oh, Dick, uh, one thing before you go. I'm having a slight negative cash flow problem. Could you see yourself clear to make me liquid again? Sure, go in the kitchen and hop in the blender. <laughs> <laughs> Need I explain? I, I meant cash. Michael, I don't want to let money mess up this... This great relationship that we have. Kiss, kiss. <laughs> George! Hi, Michael. George. You and I are close friends, aren't we? No. <laughs> I like you, but we really don't spend enough time together to be considered close. Yeah, well, but we have a relationship, you and I. Not really. <laughs> We never go anywhere together. We don't have a single thing in common. Right. And you wouldn't be able to lend me $500 until next week. Sure. You will. Why not? I trust you. George, I think you and I are going to be great friends. You mean we'll have long talks and go places together? Well, let's not OD on each other. Uh, excuse me, maybe you didn't see the sign outside. We're, we're closed this weekend. Flats. Flats. Hog? Sheik? Oh, Sheik. Hog. <laughs> <laughs> didn't you recognize us? Oh, oh sure, sure. You know, I, I was just, I was fooling around. <laughs> Same old Slats. You haven't changed a bit. Well, you, you haven't either. Slats, I've lost 120 pounds. <laughs> Except for that. <laughs> and I'm starting to get a little bald spot on top. R really? Is Phil here yet? I uh, know. Oh, great. We got here in time for his entrance. <laughs> Have you checked the showers? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this, uh, 
This is my friend and handyman, George. Uh, George, this is Al Sheik Fraser, and this is Walter Hogg Ambrose. Uh, I've heard so much about <laughs> you guys. Dick said when you were together, a minute never went by without something crazy happening. <laughs> I guess we better get the rest of our luggage. Oh, huh? that's okay. I'll take care of it. So far, they've been a letdown, Dick. Hi. Oh, this this is my wife, Joanna. Here they are, Sheik and Hog. Nice try, Dick. Hi, Hog. Hi, Sheik. Dick told me you guys are always fooling around like this. No, really, I'm Sheik. He's Hog. Oh, stop. <laughs> Uh, honey, we're... we're not kidding. Oh, sorry. Well, have I got a weekend planned. Uh, what do you want to do first? Eat, drink, or swing from the rafters? I'd like to take a nap. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> you, you're serious? Well, sure, sure, you know, get, a, get some rest, but... Uh, be down here for dinner because we're cooking up a real gut buster. Oh, yeah, well, that reminds me. Uh, here is a list of my dietary requirements. Uh, I can't eat anything that's difficult to digest. I'll show you to your rooms. Well, I hope there's a phone in mine. I gotta call my wife. Oh, uh, tell me about the missus. She must be some knockout to corral, the sheik. Oh, not now, Slats. I was supposed to call her ten minutes ago. I gotta hurry before the grace period ends. Oh, are they, uh... Are they a couple of crazy nut buckets or what? <laughs> Let me help you with that. Oh, oh, what's in here anyway? It's a brand new color TV with remote control and stereo sound. Michael bought it for me. Oh, oh he did. Well, uh, gee, it must be your birthday or something. No, he bought it for my favorite reason, because I saw it and went... <laughs> George, will you hook it up to the antenna for me? Uh, sweet niece, let's not impose on George now. He can hook it up tomorrow. Isn't he considerate? Where are you going, George? Up to my room to watch my old fuzzy black and white mono TV with no remote control. <laughs> kind of a cynical old guy, isn't he? <laughs> well, Slats, that was a terrific meal. Yeah, my special diet sure didn't cramp Joanna's cooking. Yeah, Joanna could always uh, make up a mean platter of... Rice and strained pears. It's too bad it's not sitting too well. I think I overdid it on the milk. Yeah, I was, I was gonna, I was gonna say something. <laughs> we, remember the time that uh, Phil rode the swivel chair? What are those Down there? Uh, Antropone, stomach relaxer. Did you ever try diazidine? <laughs> I use it for my back spasms. Sure, I always carry some. But you know, it's really good. Guys, why, why don't we just? Set out a buffet. <laughs> uh, come on, guys. What, uh, what, what, do you, what do you do for fun these days? <laughs> you know, <laughs> I, I've gotten into something a little crazy. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Model railroading. <laughs> now, you have these little buildings and trees, even tiny people. And if you're not careful, that train can go flying off that track and doing a whole mess of damage. That's a, that's a big responsibility Well, uh, I tried a bunch of home hobbies And then I felt I needed something more Something to get me out of the house and into the world All right, Sheik So I joined a gardening club Oh, this, this was fun <laughs> Well, the only thing that can top this is to play some music. <laughs> but Phil's not here yet. Yeah, but he will be. And if he walks through that door naked, he's going to want something to dance to. <laughs> All right, let's give it a go. Good. I can't wait to hear you guys play. Dick was always telling me how great the band was. Uh, okay, let's try the start of something big. <laughs> Pelvis t- 
talk. <laughs> my stomach, now Sheik's back. This crazy weekend of yours is gonna kill us. I'll be okay. Oh, okay, that's it. I'm, I'm gonna find out what's keeping Phil. It's still early on the coast. Maybe his, maybe his office knows where he is. I'll be okay. Somebody please reach in my pocket and give me two blues and one yellow. Hello, I'm, I'm calling about uh, Phil Bradley. We're, we're having a reunion in Vermont. And, and could you tell him to hurry on down? We, we need a massive injection of silly. <laughs> I see. Uh, when? Thank you. Well, when's he going to get here? Oh, it, it could be a while. <laughs> Phil died three weeks ago. You still can't sleep? No. Well, honey, losing a friend is tough. Yeah, but that's, that's not all that's bothering me. What else? You know, even though Phil's dead, I mean, he's, he's still the liveliest member of the Jazz Tones. Dick, don't say that. Joanna, people I remember as, as total wild men have gotten bald, henpecked, and then gardening is living on the edge. <laughs> Dick, everybody gets older. I'm better at this wide awake. <laughs> Joanna, jo jo face it, my, my glory days are behind me. I remember when I used to climb stairs two at a time. Now it's, now it's one by one. Soon I'll, I'll need one of those little chairs that ride up the banister. <laughs> Honey, you're forgetting the positive things about getting older. You have security, accomplishments, wisdom, a fairly nice wardrobe, <laughs> drums. <laughs> Maybe I better go back to bed. <laughs> all about, Swat. Yeah, getting up before eight screws up my regularity. <laughs> Just because Phil is gone doesn't mean it's, it's all over for the, for the jazz tones. You're not going to make us play again. <laughs> no, but I, we, we have to do something. What? Uh, anything. W wouldn't you like to do something that, that made you feel like, like you did in the old days, something wild and insane? Well, would our insurance cover it? <laughs> You're missing the point. L listen, if, if you don't do it for me, do, do it for Phil. In, in honor of, of what he meant to us. Oh, well, well, what kind of thing do you want to do? Anything. I mean, you, you guys decide, as, as long as it's, it's wild and exciting. Let's go bowling. <laughs> I was thinking of something with a little more of an element of risk. Let's eat Mexican. I, I don't think you got the right spirit yet. Think danger, risk. Water skiing. Keeping in mind we're in Vermont in, in winter. <laughs> Sledding! Wait, better yet, tobogganing. Really? Yeah, it's, it's, it's perfect. It's exhilarating, it, it's exciting, and, and there's a place just a, a, a few miles from here. You know, I feel nuttier already. Me too. <laughs> the jazz tones are back in action. Yeah. I'll bring plenty of antacids in case we stop for food. Yeah. And I'll call my wife and ask permission. Yeah, we want to, uh, <clears throat> we want to, we want to take a run. You guys look, uh, kind of old for this sort of thing. Hey, we're the, uh, we're the jazz tones. <laughs> jazz tones? Meet the Widowmaker. <laughs> well, you 
you put those away? <laughs> okay, you start right here on Whiplash Way, then you hit Paralyzer Point, shoot into the slingshot, and then slip under Guillotine Bridge. It'd help if you ducked there. <laughs> that sounds good. For a start. <laughs> you are the jazz tone. Okay, what's your pleasure? Lightning, rocket, or pokey? Lightning. Slats. <laughs> pokey sounds kind of cute. Uh, not really. It got its name when someone took a branch in the eye. <laughs> Lightning it is. Slats, this is dangerous. They wouldn't let you do this if it were dangerous. You'll have to sign this waiver. <laughs> We fully release the management from all liability for any death or injury, including, but not limited to, the loss of limbs and or head. Yeah, we had to add that last one. Make our heads! Oh, all right, so there's a, there, there's an element of risk. But, I mean, that's, that's the whole point, to, to do something daring, something that lets, lets us know we're alive. And dying's gonna do that? <laughs> my wife married me for my looks. She'll kill me if what's left winds up on a tree. <laughs> Listen, guys, if you're chicken out now, you'll have to admit to yourselves that, that you're old and, and, and old is less. We can admit that. Old is less. Okay. Can we go now? <laughs> guys. For Phil... From Phil. For Phil. <coughs> what? What are we? The uh, Jazz Tones! <laughs> yeah! Hi, Michael. George. If I had any idea I was going to bump into you here, I, I would have brought the money I owe you. Oh, that's okay. It'll keep. Thanks. Boy, if you ever open a bank, you can count on a lot of loan business from this guy. <laughs> my car's gone. You're kidding. What did it look like? You know my car, George. It, it's a red mint condition Turbo Z. Uh, did it have a distinctive pine scent? <laughs> my odor snuffer. Where did you get that? Same place I got this. <laughs> my custom spoked hubcap with curb cutters. You took the pine tree and hubcaps off my car? Among other things. Oh, no. One of those things from the engine. <laughs> George, I want those back, and I, and I want them now. Well, they are yours, Michael. For $500. You expect me to pay $500 for a deodorant, a hubcap, and a, and a smudgy black thing? Well, maybe not. But what if I threw in one of these? Forget it. I, I don't need any of those things. Now, where's the rest of my car? In the garage. Of course, if you drive without a door, you could freeze to death. But then you'd warm up as soon as the engine explodes. <laughs> I'll write you a check. Fine. We'll go to the bank and cash it. <laughs> you better take my car. Well, let me tell you something, George. This is the last time I ever borrow money from you. I know. <laughs> Joanna? Joanna? Dick, where have you been all day? Careening wildly down a treacherous mountain slope in a runaway toboggan. You did a dangerous thing like that without telling me first? Damn right. <laughs> That's what you get when you marry a jazz tone. What a ride! That was the greatest 20 feet of my life. You only went 20 feet? Uh, car careening wildly. We, uh, we were th thrown off the course at the first curve, and, 
And we, we crashed head headlong into this snowbank. Yeah, it was like running right into a big comforter. <laughs> yeah, only we didn't know that in, until we careened wild, wildly into it. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it was scary. Yeah, but exciting. <laughs> Ooh, look at this. I was supposed to call my wife 27 minutes ago. Let her wait. <laughs> All right, Sheik. <laughs> uh, could someone help me to the couch? I don't think I can walk it. Oh, my God, while you guys have been celebrating, this man is obviously hurt. Oh, no, no, no. This had nothing to do with a toboggan. Uh -huh. No, uh -huh. af afterwards, we did something that took even more guts. We ate Mexican. <laughs> what are we? The, the Jam!